Thank you, Professor. Up next, we have uh, the Professor of the Sociology, Dr. Yvonne Evans. Thank you, Bert. Um There's almost nothing that I can say that can add to the grandeur of this moment. Um, the beauty of your achievement, we should just recognize right now that we are in the phase of celebration. We have indeed done something already. We have cracked an edifice. It's for us to push, push, push until that thing crumbles. I have only two things that I want to say uh, to, uh, to the students here. Just, there's nothing more that I, can add, that I can say that can add to what has not already been, that has already been said. Just two things. Three, actually. Let me begin with the first one. That I was, this struggle, what we see here and what you have achieved and what you have mobilized. And to the BSU, Fanon, um, David, David and your allied associations, I have nothing but the immense great respect for what you have done. You perceived the threat to our campus. You, per three, you perceived the threat long before the university even sensed it. And it was because of you that you mobilized and you brought the students out and this is the culmination, a complete victory. Today, right now, is evidence of a complete victory. You were right then, we were right now, and we will be right in the future when we win. The, first, the second point I want to leave you with here is that this is something that you have started and we have all joined together, but it is spreading. 17 students, I've just been told, have been arrested at UCI because they've come out in support of us. Don't we forget that. We will, we will come out here, they, they will not be charged. We will make sure. We start it. We take responsibility for it. Let this movement spread. Irvine is a hop, skip and jump away. I bring you, bring you even greater news. This has become an international incident. Congratulations. Congratulations. Australia, New Zealand, Turkey, Israel, France, Germany, Italy, and England. All friends and colleagues that I have in those countries have been calling me up and sending me emails saying, what the fuck is going on there? We thought the stuff was gone. So we thought the KKK was gone. And what we have here is the KK Koala. And I left on one country when I narrated that list of countries. That was South Africa, my hometown, my home country. It's where I came from. And the, what I want to tell you here is that day, June the 16th, 1976, Monday, when the nation woke up and saw something emblazoned on the newspapers across the country, a thousand, a hundred thousand such scenes across the country. And that day is, every South African knows it because it is like this day, it is the day the movement began. It began in 1976 and we won in 1994. It was a long time. And students half your age every day would get up and they'd say, mom and dad, I know I might not come home today, but I'm going to protest in the streets. 12, 12, 13, 14 years old. Those were the kids who threw themselves in the barricades and those were the kids who were, who were shot down in droves. Within three months, more than 1,800, 1,800 students were shot down dead under the age of 16. That is commitment. Now, I'm not saying that we have to do the same. <laughs> Thank God we don't have to do the same. But they did that year after year after year from 1976 until 1994. We can calibrate our own struggle in the same way. We will not rest. When you graduate here, three, four years from now when you leave, the question that you'll ask yourself is, you remember that day? What's the day today? <laughs> you remember the 24th? Of what's the month? The 20th of what year? The 24th of February of 2010. When we were all out here, and our passion was high, and we were committed to it. When you, the day you pick up your piece of paper from the stage, you say, did we succeed? That's the question you ask yourself. It's how you will measure your education. This is the greatest educational day, I'm quite sure, in the, of all of your lives here. And so that's how you measure the worth of your degree. And if you feel that you have fallen short, it is your job to come back here and you teach the next generation and you tell them, don't forget.
just like the townships of South Africa liberated the universities of South Africa when the poor black men and women got up and they charged into the universities and said, we can't let this go on. And then the universities woke up. And now we'd like to see also that the townships, that the townships of California, of San Diego, this is your place, come get it. I'm so glad that we've talked that we've talked about the the need to transform this place racially, and I'm so glad that we need to talk about the uh, ending the misogyny here. But also, let's also acknowledge that this is not where poor people go, and most of the black and brown people are poor. And so, let the townships come here.